Lesson 9-4 and 9-7, Equivalent Fractions in Fractions in Simplest Form. Equivalent fractions are fractions that are equal to each other. To find equivalent fractions, you multiply or divide the numerator and denominator by the same non-zero number to get equivalent fractions. So for example, if we had 3 fourths, an equivalent fraction to that would be 12 over 16. Because if you multiply the numerator and the denominator of 3 fourths by 4, then it is 12 over 16. Now, simplest form would be the 3 fourths because 12 over 16 can be divided by something to get it in the simplest form. Simplest form is when you cannot divide the numerator or the denominator by any number other than one in itself. So when we are trying to find equivalent fractions, you want to multiply or divide the numerator and the denominator by the same number. So let's say we wanted to find an equivalent fraction to 3 eighths. You could multiply the numerator and the denominator by any number other than 0 and 1 to get a different fraction. So let's say we multiply it by 2. If we multiply the top and bottom by 2, then we get 6 over 16, which is an equivalent fraction to 3 over 8. Pause the video to try a few examples. Find an equivalent fraction for each fraction below. For the first example, you could have a variety of different answers, but make sure that you're always multiplying the top and bottom by the same number. So let's multiply the top by 3 and the bottom by 3, and this will get us 9 over 12. For the next example, remember we said you could multiply or divide to get equivalent fractions. So let's divide both of these by 2. So you would get 4 over 7. You could also multiply by 2, and you could get 16 over 28. All of these are equivalent, and actually both of these fractions would be equivalent to each other because you would be able to do something to 4 sevenths to make it 16 twenty-eighths. When writing fractions in simplest form, you can determine if it's in the simplest form when the fraction is no longer divisible by any numbers other than one in itself. So for example, if we look at one third, the only numbers that can go into one are is one. The only numbers that can go into three would be three and one. So we are not able to simplify this because those numbers are not divisible by anything other than themselves. So if we take a look at 12 over 14, you want to figure out what number can both numbers be divisible by. So to, to, to do that, you want to list the factors of each number. So the factors of 12 would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, and 12. And the factors of 14 would be 1, 2, 7, and 14. So you can see that both numbers have a 2, so that means that both numbers are divisible by 2. So now you would divide and you would get 6 over 7. So then you must determine if those numbers are divisible by any number that they have in common. 7 is just 1 and 7, and we know that 6 is not divisible by either of those. So we would say that 6 sevenths is a simplified form of 12 over 14. Pause the video to try a few examples. Write each fraction in simplest form. The simplest form of 16 over 30, you could divide both of these by 2 and get 8 over 15, and that would be your simplest form. For 8 over 12, you could divide both by 2 and get 4 over 6. You could divide by 2 again, which would give you 2 over 3. So this is a good example of um, when you get your fraction, make sure that that fraction is in simplest form. So you can see here, we actually went to 4 sixths, and then 4 sixths could be simplified again. 
you want it to be in its lowest form. Pause the video to complete the lesson review. Make, make sure you show me this lesson review for verification of watching this video.